Hollywood actor George and human rights lawyer wife Amal are reportedly set to become godparents to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's firstborn. It has been claimed that George and Amal Clooney are set to become the godparents of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby when it arrives next spring. Human rights lawyer Amal, 40, is thought to be close friends with former actress Meghan Markle, 37, and she and husband George, 57, have reportedly spent lots of time with the royal couple behind closed doors. In an interview with Mail Online, the Hollywood actor's cousin Ben Breslin has revealed that the power couple could well be chosen for the important role. Ben said, I'm all for it. He'd make a wonderful godfather, he'd make a wonderful just about anything, he's a good guy. Amal is beautiful and wonderful and a great addition to our family. We've loved her ever since we met her. He sure picked a winner with her. An insider told the Mail Online, Amal and Meghan have been close for years and Harry and George have become buddies because of that. They're much closer than the headlines let on. The insider added that George has told a couple of people he has a strong hunch they will become godparents to Harry and Meghan's new arrival, adding that the pair are shoe in to be chosen. Harry and Meghan reportedly visited George and Demal at their Lake Como, Italy residence following their main nuptials, where they got the opportunity to meet the couple's one-year-old twins, Ella and Alexander. Meanwhile, the royal pair are said to be attending a dinner at George and Amal's London home next month, where former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama will also be on the guest list. George's cousin Ben, who resides in Augusta, Kentucky, has also tipped George and Amal to bring the royals back to their hometown. Absolutely, that would be crazy but fun, Ben said. It's kind of a laid-back place to be, lots of family around. We always do two or three family events a year, that's fun and enjoyable. I'm not in on those royal circle talks, but that's not to say next time he comes in we might sit down for an hour over bourbon and talk about it. George is like the rest of us, he's as common as an old shoe, but he likes to hobnob with the big people, so that's great.